Dima, beautiful Libra peeps. What's going on, everybody? It's Anne from Cats and Moons Tarot, and we're coming at you with your mid-October 2022 tarot reading. How are you? I hope y'all are well. I want to wish you all a very happy birthday. Hope you've had yourselves a fantastic time and a fantastic season as well. And without a further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on into it, and we shall see what is up. So what do we got going on here for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding the mid-month of October 2022. What information do we got rolling on in here, please, for the zodiac signs of Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout mid-October 2022. Starting out here with your overall energy, it's going to be the Empress. Cool, which actually is the Libra card, so it's nice to see your energy jumping on into this reading. Having a look here into your current situation, we do have here the Moon card, we do have here the Six of Swords, and we have here the Nine of Swords as well. So, let's go ahead and jump on into this, and we'll see what we got going on. So, starting out here, right, with the overall energy, we do have here the Empress. So the Empress coming into play here for you, Libra, definitely signifies strength in a way. I do feel that for many of you, there is the ability to see the beauty in absolutely everything. You know, Libras have that capability of seeing the beauty in so many people and seeing the good in so many situations. So it kind of feels to me like that's the overall theme here this month. It's that you do see the good in situations. Even if it's a bad situation, you can find the limelight that's still within it. Now, having a look here into your current situation, we do got here the moon, the six of swords, and the nine of swords. So the moon card coming to play here, strong, deep emotions. I definitely feel like you are very emotionally in tune with someone or something. And with the six of swords coming into play, it does feel to me like you're trying to move it along into a better direction. But at the same time, there is a lot of stress here in whatever situation you're dealing with. So Libra, let's say you're dealing with love right now. You're definitely in a space where you're trying to take this relationship to a better level. You're trying to move it into a better direction, but at the same time, it's hard. It's hard to move a relationship in a better direction when there is unhappiness or where there is things that are causing stress or causing anxiety or some sorts of conflict. Now, if it's not about love, it could be the same thing about work. It's like I'm trying to be optimistic and have a positive attitude towards my career, but at the same time, if your career has been stressing you out, if your career has been weighing you down, it's difficult to do that. So I definitely feel like you're seeing the good in a situation that's definitely that hasn't been the best to you, you know, whether that be a person, place, or thing. So looking at the current situation accompanied by the overall energy this month, it's basically telling me, Libra, you see the good in a situation that I do feel is negatively impacting you. Now, having a look here about, or <clears throat> excuse me, having a look here at what you're going to be doing about your current situation. Let's see what information is pulling through for you. So what is Libra going to do about this? What are they going to do about their current situation throughout October 2022? What information do we have? And we have here the Hermit card. Moving on forward from the Hermit, we also do have here the Ace of Wands. And then lastly for you, we do got here the Queen of Cups. So taking a look here at how you're handling essentially your current situation, the Hermit, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Hermit card coming into play here for you could represent distance, but I don't feel like it's necessarily distance. I feel like you're trying to make this a new beginning. So you're trying to start fresh in a situation with someone or something. That's what it feels like to me because the Hermit card could also represent honing in on your inner wisdom, honing in on what your inner wisdom has to say. So I think that coming into the mid-month of October, it's like you're trying to listen from what's, you know, what's going on from within. You're trying to listen to what your higher self is telling you. And you're getting the message of like, okay, let's not try to make something better. Let's start new. Let's start from scratch. And with the Queen of Cups coming into play here for you, the difficulty, though, of starting from scratch is all the emotional experiences you've previously had. If you want to start something from scratch, Libra, you're going to have to be willing to completely eliminate all of what has happened in the past. And that is a very difficult thing to do, especially, let's say, if this is in terms of love. It's very hard to kind of put behind everything you went through with a romantic partner and then just start brand new like it's the first time you've met because you've went through a lot more than likely with the person you're dealing with in love. So I feel like you're dealing with a situation that you definitely don't want to give up on, but at the same time, it has had negative implications on you. And with that being said, you do see the good in the situation, no matter how intense it's been for you. So it's like, no matter how upset I've been, no matter how intense it's been, no matter how anxious I've been, no matter how much it's hurt, I still see that there's good here and I don't want to give up on that good. But I feel like the universe here is trying to say, you can see as much good as you need to, but at some point you have to be able to limit 
when is enough enough? How much can you tolerate, Libra? When does the bad start to kind of outweigh the good is what I think your attention here is being called to. You know, like I mentioned in October, it looks to me like you're kind of doing everything you can to save the situation, to continue to be optimistic about it, to see it in a positive light. You're trying to do everything you can to make it better. But universe here is trying to say to you, spirit guides are trying to say to you, you are the one putting in the effort right now to try to make something better. Is it a two-way street? You know, if this is about love, is your person putting in the same amount of effort? If so, then that's a good thing. If uh, this is about career, is your boss putting in the same amount of effort you're putting in at the workplace? But if you're noticing that you're a one-man team here, Libra, and you're the only one trying to make positive change, and you're the only one being optimistic, and you're the only one trying to make it all better, you know, when does the bad start to outweigh the good, right? All right, Libra, let's go ahead and have a look here and see what you might not be aware about regarding the second half of October. So what are some things that Libra might not be aware about regarding October 2022 at the mid-month mark? What are some things that Libras might not be aware about? throughout mid-October 2022. Having a look here at the first card, we do got here the full card. So full card energy could be an Aries in the picture for some of you. We do got here the chariot as well. And then taking a look here into the last card for you, we do got here the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like when it comes towards what it is you're not aware about, full card here to the chariot, I feel like your person here is already focused on a new beginning or the situation that you're dealing with isn't paying attention to what you're offering. Uh, so let's say you're dealing with career right now. It feels to me like the harder you're trying, it's like the more less and less people are paying attention. You know, if this is in love, it's like the harder you're trying, the more and more distance you feel between you and your partner. Uh, so I definitely sense what you're not aware about here is that the more you're trying, the less the opposing energy is. And it seems to me like the opposing energy here is kind of branching out and looking at other options at this time. So Libra, even though this is very difficult information to hear, especially if you really want to make something work and you're really optimistic about it, I just feel that it's one of those things where you're the only person trying and it's like the harder you're trying, the more and more whatever opposing energy you're dealing with is becoming distant from you. So you're going to space here. That's a little tricky, right? You know, the way that I would view this is like, especially if it's love, if the person you're dealing with isn't showing up, appreciating you and putting forth that effort, show them what they'll be missing. Show them what it looks like when you turn your back on them. At the end of the day, when you walk away from people, it's going to show their true colors. They're either going to recognize they're losing the greatest thing ever, or they're going to recognize that they didn't value you and you'll realize they didn't value you. And at the end of the day, you'll walk towards something new and something so much better. But if you keep on trying to make something more positive, if you keep trying to improve a situation, but you're the only person trying, you're going to leave yourself in a scenario where you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to improve a situation, but you're the only one working on it. Okay. So Libra's Know your value, know your worth. You're incredibly valuable. You're beautiful. You're worthy. You deserve so much. And you see the great and the good in all these situations surrounding you. But it's now time for you to highlight the good within yourself and the worthiness and deservingness of something better. Okay. All right. So like I mentioned, in reference to what I feel like you're not aware about, I feel like you're not aware that the harder you're trying, it's kind of like the more the energy you're dealing with is growing more and more distant from you. I don't feel like you're on the same wavelength. I feel like once again, you're kind of like in that one man team type of energy. All right. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and see where things will be going, though, throughout the rest of your mid-October. So where are things going to be going here for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout the rest of their mid-October. We did have a jumper, so this is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Moving along into the next card, we do got here the Queen of Swords. And then moving into one more card, we do got here the Two of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles, based upon where things are going, you're definitely going to keep putting forth more effort. You're definitely going to keep on trying to improve whatever the situation may be. But then we move to the Queen of Swords and we move to the Two of Pentacles. So Queen of Swords to the Two of Pentacles is basically like, OK, now I'm starting to see a cycle here. Now I'm starting to see a pattern of how I'm the only person trying and I'm starting to notice, is this worth it for me or is it not? You're starting to kind of ask yourself that question with the Two of Pentacles because Two of Pentacles is a very very, you know, on and off type of energy. So there's a part of you here that's starting to notice that you're questioning your judgment, you're questioning what you want, and you're wondering, is the situation still worth it? And with the Queen of Swords coming into play, you're saying to yourself, okay, it's time to be incredibly honest and blunt with myself about the situation that I'm in. You know, if I'm dealing with a love-related situation, does my person genuinely show me they care about me? 
You know, if you're dealing with career, does my boss value me? Does my boss actually give a shit about me no matter how much effort I put into this job? Same thing when it comes to friendships, right? Does my friend actually care about me or am I convenient for them? So it's getting down to the nitty gritty of those deep questions that you never want to ask yourself because those questions are hurtful, right? They suck to hear. They suck to ask yourself you know, they, they're they not fun. It's not a fun situation to be a part of, but we have to get down to the nitty gritty and get deep with those types of questions. Uh, so ultimately here for you, Libra, it's like, I got to start asking myself and have an honest conversation with myself of like, am I being valued? That's what it really comes down to. And if you're not being valued, you know, you're recognizing it's time to stop seeing the good in the situation that I'm currently involved in because I deserve the good as well. And most importantly, I deserve to be valued. So I feel like you're gonna start to question this more and more as you move throughout the rest of mid-October 2022. And truly, for any Libras that this does resonate to, like, I'm sorry that this is what you have to go through because you deserve the freaking world, man, 110%. And I want you to know that. You deserve so much. Actually, funnily enough, as I'm recording this video, it is currently 3.33 p.m. 3.33 is a wonderful, wonderful synchronicity because it talks about alignment. So, Remember this, the more that you value yourself, the more that you do onto yourself is the more that you will manifest the similar types of energy. So the more that you love yourself, the more you'll manifest people who love you. The more that you value yourself, the more value you will find in people that start to surround you. So treat yourself and look at yourself with the beauty that you look at other people with. I think that's going to be a very important message here for you, Libra, jumping into your mid-October 2022. With the Empress card coming into play here, it's like you see the value, you see the good, you see the greatness in so many other individuals. Start to look at that within yourself, and in doing so, you're going to reflect other people who get to see that wonderful greatness within you as well, okay? All right, Libras, we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the outcome and see what we got in store for you. So what's going to be the overall outcome here for Team Libra? Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus regarding mid-October 2022. What is going to be the overall outcome here for this second half of the month? And what do we got? We got here the strength card. Yeah, absolutely. It's like this energy is like it's a tough pill to swallow. You know, it's very hard to kind of come to this point where you realize that I'm the only one trying and it sucks to deal with unequal give and take but I'm strong enough to pull through this. You know, I'm recognizing right now that I deserve better. I'm recognizing right now at this point in time that I need to value myself more and that I need to be around people who genuinely value me, you know? So as hard as it is, I'm gonna take a step back right now from this situation. I'm gonna see it for what it is. I'm gonna stop looking at the good and letting it overpower the bad. I'm gonna recognize when sometimes, you know, in life the bad does outweigh the good and I'm gonna start to recognize that more. So. Despite the fact of being able to see the good in so many situations, even rough situations like this, you're starting to say to yourself, sometimes the bad genuinely does outweigh the good, and I need to acknowledge that instead of placing the good above all. All right? All right, Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope this video helped. Um, I know it's a little bit of a rough one. It's a little intense. Uh, it's not going to resonate to every Libra out there, and I'll be happy if it actually doesn't resonate to you. So if it's not your story, no worries there. Uh, definitely in the clear. But if it does happen to be your story, I'm sorry that you have to go through a situation like this. Been there plenty of times in my life. But the most important thing that's coming out of this is that no matter how much it sucks to have that honest conversation with yourself of like, am I not being valued by this person? Are they not loving me how they should? Are they showing me they don't care? Or, you know, d does this friend honor me or am I convenient or does my boss care about me or am I just a replaceable person? It's like when you ask yourself these deep, honest questions, they can be incredibly hurtful, but they provide very deep insight that'll allow you to move out of a situation that just doesn't serve you. So when you can have that honest conversation with yourself, no matter how much it hurts, at least you can start to move out of it and start moving closer to energies that genuinely will be serving you in your future. I think it's incredibly beautiful, once again, with the Empress coming into play here, that you can see the beauty in everything. I love that about Libras. I think you very much so love that about yourself. But right now, start seeing the beauty in all of you 
I start seeing the value in all of you. And the more that you start seeing all that beauty and value within yourself, the more it's going to start to manifest people who see that within you as well. And I think it's important sometimes, once again, kind of the focal point of this reading is to recognize, you know, sometimes the bad does outweigh the good. And that needs to be acknowledged when it does get to that point so that you're not put in situations where you're constantly giving somebody optimism and you're giving them all this positivity because you can see goodness within them. But you don't want to get to a point where you're kind of allowing them to continue behaving the way they are because you're optimistic they'll change, you know? So always acknowledge when the bad starts to outweigh the good because you genuinely do deserve the best. All right? All right, Libras, I love you very much. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. That would be gratefully appreciated. I hope you have a lovely rest of your October. You guys will be okay. Stay strong throughout the situation. You guys are going to make it through, and uh, we will catch you in your next video, all right? So Libras, much love to you, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.